everybody welcome to another reading vlog hello friends hello strangers i hope we could be friends too in this vlog i will be sharing my reading experience with my kindle i am currently reading four books two physical ones and two ebooks on my kindle one of them as you know is warranties and i am currently reading this with the book club and as you can see it's quite a huge chunk so I have a separate series or vlogs for warranties. Another book that I am reading is Lolita. I am also body reading with the same club. I don't have a physical copy but I have my PDF. So I printed it because I want to annotate it. I want to react to it. Although I am taking my time with Navoko, with Lolita, with Humbert Humbert. Anyways, for this vlog, I will share with you my reading experience with Kindle. And for everybody's information, I am using the Kindle Basic 2019. I guess this is the latest basic Kindle Basic version. Because I noticed I have been reading physical books lately for weeks, for months actually na. And I miss my Kindle. So I'm picking this up and read a few or a couple or three books this week. Hopefully for until next week, I'm not sure. We've had a very stressful week last week at work. This coming week and the weeks onwards, I expect my work load or work hours being super busy or even busier than before. I need to read basically i'm picking this up i already have selected books for this reading vlog the two of them i am current i am now currently reading i'm in the middle of both this book is radio silence by alice osman actually have started reading this book for the book relay for book buddies I have a separate vlog for the relay as well my second book for this vlog is the story of a shipwrecked sailor by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is the first or the oldest short story, short novel, oldest published work by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. It is first published 1955, if I'm not mistaken. And it's interesting because this gives me the vibes of Life of Pi. Which also reminds me, I have a new book here from the same author, The Memories of My Melancholy Horse. Because if you don't know, one of my favorite books is The 100 Years of Solitude. So I thought it would be very interesting if I read most, if not all, of his works. So I started with the oldest one published in 1955, which is The Shipwreck, The Story of a Shipwreck. Sailor. I am re-watching my old videos. I stumbled upon this series na ginawa ko when I was in the COVID isolation area. Yun kasi yung start na nirefuel again yung aking pagbabasa. I started with Midnight Library and then Anxious People and then American Dirt. I guess those three are the top three fiction for good reads, best reads for 2020. And the realize ko that time hindi ako nagsasabay sa bayan ng books when I read. And I guess it works well naman for me before. Na miss ko yun actually. Walang pressure, just a chill reading. Kung ano lang yung gusto kong basahin, yun lang. And I'll just film it, I'll just share it with everybody. So gagawin ko yun ulit. And kakapain ko pa kung that works better for me. I know in the past months, sumasali ako ng mga book clubs just because I want to boost my reading, reading time, reading experience, meet other people. And to be honest, sometimes the pressure ako, I feel super pressured. Especially with those readers na ang bibilis magbasa. Sa ngayon, ang hirap talaga makisabay as in di ka na kasama ng discuss cannot participate in chats unless they are reading the books that you actually have read na before. Yun, I'm just rethinking my ways or my style in reading, my timing, my timeline. Siguro I'll have to squeeze out and loosen my reading schedules and goals. I am reading first. I am finishing Shipwrecked Sailor this weekend. We follow our protagonist. I forgot the name. Shocks. Um, who is part of the Navy and the setting was in a 
destroyer, navy ship, um, warship siya. It was a usual day for this navy guys. And then in the middle of the trip, na accident sila. And of course, since accident sa gitna ng dagat, people assume na there was a typhoon, a hurricane, or of some sort. But apparently, there was no storm as in normal na araw lang siya. Nalaman nila yon because there was one survivor from the ship and yun yung na-interview ni Marquez and this is the result of that interview. Um, I was researching kung totoo ba na may survivor. So far, ang nakita ko is totoo yung ship. Um, nag-exist yung ship, si Caldas. I'm not just sure if the accident really happened, the, the shipwreck really happened, and was there really a survivor? Kasi this is also tagged as fiction. So most probably, um, this is just inspired by the accident. Parang Titanic. Or, meron talagang survivor, and then the writing of the story is not really accurate, na true to life nangyari. So yet to discover that, if you know you can comment here i'm currently in chapter 8 53 percent through and so far i am enjoying it una i thought this was boring kasi alam mo yun ikaw lang mag isa one man story lang siya at the uh, parang huge part of the book ang parang nanonood ng film na um, low budget film yeah, but when i was already at the middle of the book it just got interesting because you will learn some survival tips or something here. We all know Gabriel Garcia Marquez is famous with the genre. I'm not yet sure if merong ganong touch. Itong shipwrecked sailor, uh, there was some hallucinations na nagaganap. Although the protagonist actually know na meron siyang idea na baka hallucination lang ito or something. So, wala pa akong masyadong nakikita na beyond realistic. I guess most parts of the story so far is realistic. Since this is the first or if not the first, kung hindi ko lang nakita yung first, if this is not the first, at least this is one of the oldest works of Marquez. So, hindi din natin alam if nandun na siya nag-start sa magical realism. And, which reminds me, I am looking for a book uh, which is a memoir or autobiography of Gabriel Garcia Marquez written by another author. Mahirap siyang hanapin. Ginugil ko siya. Uh, most stores na nakikita ko is out of country. So, medyo matagal siya, which is okay lang din for me. But, but it's much better if nandito sa Philippines. And also, if you have recommendations for Marquez's works, or at least books na tungkol kay Gabriel Garcia Marquez, I would be very much thankful. I would appreciate it. Just comment below or message me on IG if you have some suggestions. Just a quick update. I finished the story of a shipwrecked sailor and it's as expected. I rated it 4.5. Well, I actually expected it to be 5. But then I realized, bakit 4 lang yung rate ko for 100 years of solitude? Because 100 years of solitude, there are a lot of na not really enjoyable for me. I thought medyo na bore ako in some parts. So it took time for me to actually finish the book. 
But for the shipwrecked sailor, girl, it's so engaging. I feel like I was connected to the author or the narrator. The one that I expected to be boring, yung pa yung mas engaging for me. Or unless there's something wrong about me. Anyways, I was supposed to update you in the middle of the book. But I was preoccupied na by work that time. Also, when I am at home, Nemo wants all my time as in. I have a lot of... Okay, if I haven't shared it pa, this is the story of a shipwrecked sailor. <laughs> sailor, part of the Navy. In some ways, they have exceeded the limit or the capacity, weight capacity of the ship. So, medyo nahihirapan silang i-control. Then, if there is no storm, even if the weather is calm, but if there are big waves, medyo naaalog yung ship. There came this big wave na finally nataob niya yung, yung ship. So, everybody was like, ah! And one of the survivors nung una is our... Um, protagonist. Although marami pa siyang shipmates na naka-survive. But didn't make it within 10 minutes. As in 10 minutes, yun lang. Ganun lang kadali yung nangyari. And then, wala na. Mag-isa na siya at the middle of the ocean. What I love about this book is it's very detailed. As in, super vivid siya sa imagination mo. Actually, this dictates how you imagine things. For several reasons, that day was very different from the previous days. The sea was dark and calm, the sun warm and tranquil, hugged my body, gentle breeze guided the raft along, even my sunburn felt a bit better. Panic-stricken but trying not to become confused, I thought how to undo the buckle. I knew I hadn't wasted much time in good physical condition, I could stay underwater more than 80 seconds. As soon as I had found myself under the raft, I had stopped breathing. That was at least 5 seconds gone. In another second, I found the buckle. It was fastened to the ropes in such a way that I had to push myself away from the raft with my other hand to release it. I wasted time looking for a place to grab hold, then I pushed off with my left hand. My right hand grasped the buckle, oriented itself quickly, and loosened the belt. Keeping the buckle open, I lowered my body toward the bottom without letting go of the side, and in a fraction of a second, I was free of the ropes. As in, ganun siya ka detail. As in, lahat ng nangyari, lahat ng ginawa niya, you can find it in this book. Which is probably why it's very engaging, because you know... And you feel that it really happened. So I was thinking, maybe this is non-fiction. I don't know why it was tagged as fiction in Goodreads. With no effort at all, I pulled large sheets of skin off my arms. Underneath, there was a smooth red surface. A moment later, I felt a painful throbbing of the bare patch and blood spurted through the pores. Minute by minute, my nine days of solitude, anxiety, hunger, and thirst were replayed in sharp detail as if on a movie screen. So, dito yata ako nag-stop. Pinatatandaan ko, I was in chapter 12 when I stopped because he finally saw an island and he swam as in right straight to the island. But it took him like more than 15 minutes, I guess, to finally get there. Yeah, so basically, it's a remote island. It's isolated. And it will take like two days to actually get to the hospital or the nearest hospital. When he got back home, there came this advertisements and endorsements na hindi niya expect because yes, she, he was treated as a hero for surviving alone and he was actually kind of confused of because why am i here i didn't do anything but still he was treated as one i have been asked how it feels to be a hero i never know how to respond so far as i am concerned i feel the same as i did before your first realization when you become an important person is that all day and all night whatever the circumstances people want to hear you talk about yourself so that's the 
Story of the Shipwrecked Sailor. I am currently 55% through Radio Silence. So I actually stopped dun sa chapter 12 ng Shipwrecked Sailor because it's too interesting that I want to talk about it parang right away. Pero I also want to read more na agad-agad na Radio Silence. I actually stopped here. I learned that Aled and Daniel has something. But still, again, dun sa interesting part, gusto mong magbasa more. You want to read more. So, I read more. And now, I'm 55% through. Everybody already knows Frances as the loser. There is a strong theory na si Aled si Radio Silence. So, basically, they, uh, they actually know already. Nalaman na natin yung mga secrets na I, I thought I should know. But apparently, there's more. There's 45% left of the book. So, it's 6.21 a.m. I'm already in the office. I'm here this early because we have a an event that, and I am part of the council and part of the organizers. Anyways, that's it for now. I believe I thought of a lot more to share with you but I didn't list it. I did not, um, well I highlighted it but it's too much. And I think since we have, we still have books to talk about, baka humaba yung love. Hey, what's up? I just finished Radio Silence and it's unexpectedly good. First, I thought, to be honest, I thought it was too YA for me. It's too young for me. This age group or my age group is also a perfect um, audience for this kind of story because I totally relate. I totally can relate. When I was, I think, around 60%, 50-60% um, of the book, I thought this is too young for me. The issues they that they are talking about is too young for me, like super immature. But then I realized that it's actually very interesting because it really happens in real life. And maybe because I'm just in a different, I have the, I have different privileges before when I was their age. Different thoughts, different opinion. It doesn't mean that these thoughts are feelings doesn't actually happen. I love that the author discussed a lot about the issues of people coming of age, not just, or different issues actually, um, academically, family issues, friendship, love. I love that it is told or the story is told in a not very offensive way. The author made sure that there are different perspectives that existed in the story. What would make it more interesting though is more exploration of the characters of the parents because we have different types of parents here as well. As for the characters, of course, the interesting, the most interesting character for me is Aled. Mostly because of the mysterious part of the character. I love Daniel. I don't know. I actually don't know why, but I love his character. I have, I love his behavior. He's smart. He's emotional. He's sensitive. And as usual, the list of my care goes to our main character, our main protagonist, Frances. Because... I don't know how she was clever. I don't know how she was smart. But maybe ganun talaga may mga taong matalina lang academically. But lack of common sense. So, coming of age, this is like the story of um, developing their mature way of thinking, mature way of feeling, mature way of uh, reacting to things that they encounter in life. So yes, generally a good story. I give it uh, maybe 3.5 to 4. 
And just a quick wrap up of my candle experience. In regards of the battery, it's still the same. I have charged it like once in the week that I actually used it. But uh, to be fair, I started with around 30% ng battery niya, but now I ended up with 59% yes 59 percent of the battery with one charge along the week good good still good for for my kindle thank you what i enjoyed the most this week or the past week is of course the portability of my kindle i've been to many places um within manila including my office groceries whatsoever malls cafes kahit saan ako magpunta it's very much portable unlike bringing bulky books babalik muna ako sa war and peace for now but expect more candle reading vlogs in the future i think i also have made a fair number of candle reading vlogs and i have a playlist here wherever if you're interested so yes that's it for now thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next one i'll give you ukulele lessons monday mornings if you're free we can go to wherever we like there's so much out there to see